paper alive. It's not up yet. I see this on the replay. It's working. Oh, there. There we are. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Y'all. I don't know if I can refresh this, if it's going to do anything. It still says it's loading, but I can see we are, we are live. Welcome everyone. I am Stacy from Your Front Porch. Lori from Unique in the Creek invited me to go live on her page tonight to teach you all how to make the deco pedal. And y'all, if you know me, technology really, really does like to mess with me. Y'all, I went live it was like half an hour ago. Some of you might have saw me quick. I was testing it out to make sure it worked. Everything was flawless. And now I go and it doesn't. Is anyone from Team Unique here? Can I hit refresh on the restream or will we lose everything? Because no comments. It still says loading. Can I hit refresh? Y'all, I'm going to hit refresh. If I lose you, I do apologize. I will be right back. But I'm hoping... I can't see YouTube comments because it's not refreshing. Oh, I don't know what that was. Just hold please for one second. Hey everybody, welcome. I'm so excited to be here with you. If anyone is watching on YouTube, if you can leave a comment, it'd be greatly, greatly appreciated so I can see where comments are. Y'all, oh, there we are. Okay, I see comments on YouTube and I have my own device for Facebook. Y'all, I just worked up a sweat, so I'm just going to take my sweater off quick because <laughs> it's hot. In case my shirt lifts up, I'm just going off camera because <laughs> that would be my next look. Give y'all a show. Welcome. Widened your screen in height. Yeah, y'all, normally I work off of Mevo above hand, but I wanted to see all y'all too. Hey, Jackie Blewett. Hey, Diane. Welcome, everyone. I am going to bring you down. I'm going to lift my desk up. You don't need to see my face that much. So, y'all, I'm just going to bring this up. Well, we're going to go high so you can all see. Oh, there goes the light. Okay. It's kind of like I'm sitting with y'all, but I'm standing can't see you on YouTube, only on Facebook. YouTube, can you see me? People are saying hi. They, they say they can see me on YouTube. And y'all can see me on Facebook world. <gasps> Lori says, Lori or Tanya, 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 sorry if I get that wrong, says we are live on both. So I'm going with that. Welcome everyone. So we are doing the deco pedal. Here's one I did before. It got a little squished, so it's not perfect. I didn't fluff it again. We are going to be doing this pedal live tonight. We are using a small Unique in the Creek board, which we have here. It is 16 pieces of mesh. So it's only 16 petals to fold. It's not easy, but you don't have to do it many times. 
it is easy once you get folding, once you get the hang of it at first. I'll go slow. You can rewatch this. It'll be available on YouTube again later. You can rewatch it and make sure that you have it all figured out. <laughs> I'm just seeing if I. Hmm. So, yeah, we'll cut. We'll see how it goes. Y'all, if you have any questions, a lot of the questions are going quick, so just ask again if I miss it, but I'll move you guys down. We are cutting, this is horizontal wide stripe. This is the yellow color. It is RE890029. It is the yellow. You can just search yellow horizontal wide stripe. There is not a pin post with where to purchase it. Oh, can be purchased at uniqueinthecreek.com. I do have an affiliate as well for Unique in the Creek. If y'all want to go there, you can either go to createwithstacy.com and scroll down to Unique in the Creek. It has the discount code right there on the page. You just click it. You can always go back to look at the discount code again. It is Team Unique. You just put that in and you get 5% off of your board purchases. Hey, Kim. Oh, thanks, Karen. I had a nice blue one on, but it got hot quick. So I'm just going to move this so I can measure. I'm going to go to 35. I'm measuring it at 25 inches. So I'm just going... 15 to 35. You do want a non-burnable surface. I just have an old floor tile. You can use tempered glass. You want something that you can cut on. I am using a wood burner. You can purchase them on Amazon. I think Lori has them in her favorite tools. I'm not sure. Sorry y'all, I didn't look that up before. So I'm just cutting it at 20 inches. If you have ever, ever made a flower wreath before, typically we cut them at 10 inches, but we are just cutting them at, or we are cutting them at 20. So double the size. Hey, Karen Cox. Welcome, welcome. Thank you everyone for joining me tonight. Y'all, I beat technology. Linda, my table is, it's not, it's not really the table. There's a lift underneath it. The table, you can put anything on top, but my table is up centric. Here's, I always keep the user guide right, right close by. It's up centric. That's not even what my table. It looks like, where are we? like this here. It's just got legs and a lift. That's upside down. <laughs> I have a desk over top of that and then my lift just works off of that. I am not affiliated with them. I just, I just like it. My aunt gave it to me. Y'all, I like standing. Sometimes I like sitting. So an up and down table is, is my life. <laughs> I've got it just about two feet off the ground. No problem, Linda. Hey, Lori. Everyone say hi to Lori. This is her page. Welcome, welcome. One, two, three, four, five. We just need 16. Y'all, I do apologize. Last minute, my daughter had to go to the, the doctor's today. She is sick. So I was running late. Of course, the pharmacy was behind too. So we had to wait at the pharmacy for 45 minutes to wait for the prescription. But we are here. <laughs> Here. 
here and ready to have fun. Can everybody see that up there? So I'm just cutting right in between the lines. Just to stop the fray. You can do this with poly burlap as well. Did I get a comfy mat for my feet, Kathy? No. I looked. I looked on Amazon. That's as far as I got. I picked out some nice ones. Then my husband said, suggested I get, you know those like gym puzzle piece mats or like little baby puzzle piece mats? They're big. Probably like two by two, two feet by two feet. Do y'all know what I mean? Those foam, foam puzzle mats. He suggested I get that. He suggested I get that. And I haven't looked further. I think I don't, I think I don't want the look of puzzle piece. Not that it really matters. Y'all, I have old, can't see it right now because the desk is extremely high. I just have the original concrete floors. And I kept changing my mind with what I wanted down here. Couldn't decide. We wanted carpet. I'm glad I didn't do carpet. Wanted like epoxy over top the concrete. Wanted laminate. Just keep switching. I'm so happy that it's just nothing. If I drop anything on the floor, if I drop paint, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's fine. It just blends in. It's all good. Y'all, I'm going to have to count these. I don't know where we are. It takes almost a full roll. There's usually about one piece left, but this was an open use roll when I opened it, so I'm not 100% sure how much was missing off of it. I thought it was a brand new roll. Thankfully, my daughter ran out to the barn to get another roll, so we do have backup. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry, y'all. I gotta keep counting. Ten. That was ten, right? Eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we need three more. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Throat's getting dry. The mats you used in the factory are great. Yeah, quite often like that black, black memory foam. That's what I need. Kitchen padded sink mat. Yes, Patsy. I need something. Normally it's not so bad, but when my, when my back is already a little bit sore, it just aggravates it that much more while I'm standing here live. So I'm just cutting right in between those lines. It's not a big deal if we mess up. Apologies for the noise. If you like ASMR, you might like this, but if you don't, just plug your ears. Welcome everyone on YouTube. Thanks for joining us here on the Unique in the Creek page. I am Stacy. I own your front porch. I am a coach with Deco Exchanges Creative Coaching Group. I love teaching. I love reading. And I'm just thankful and blessed to be able to do it. I hope you guys find some inspiration in this and try one for yourself as well. Karen Cox, I know that you you just messaged me the other day. You have, I think you have everything for this, right? Get your stuff out, girl. <laughs> okay, I think I have enough. I can't remember if it was 13 with that or not, but we have enough now. 16 pieces of 10 inch. It's a little bit over 10 inch, the horizontal white stripe, but it doesn't really matter. 
10 inch by 20 inch. Oh, there you go, Patricia. Just answered for you. <laughs> 10 inches by 20 inches. If you use a brand new roll of mesh, it will use just under a full roll. Usually there's about one piece left. Y'all, I thought I had a new roll, and then when I grabbed it off the shelf, I realized it was open, so just as I was hitting the live button, I sent my daughter out to get more. We'll use some of these straighter pieces. Karen, you made one? Woohoo! Did you send me a picture, y'all? I have not been online today. Good evening, Margaret. Welcome. Thanks, Joyce. We are using the 20 inch by 10. We are laying it curl side up. So it naturally has that, that curl from being on the roll. Curl side up. I'm going to do it towards me and then I'll do one towards you after. Because I haven't folded one for a while. <laughs> so curl side up. We're going to take the two top corners, two furthest corners away from you, and bring them down to the middle to make these ones lay just beside each other. So it won't go all the way down to the bottom. It's not a big deal. If you can see there, it doesn't go right down to the bottom. It's a little curly, so you can't see perfectly. It doesn't go right down to the bottom. That's okay. You don't want to overlap. These two flaps, just want them right down. You tried to use poly burlap, but you haven't gotten it just right. Poly burlap for this petal, you want to first do it on horizontal wide stripe, I always suggest. If you do it with poly burlap first, it, it can be harder. Y'all, poly burlap likes to fray if you even look at it. <laughs> horizontal wide stripe is less fraying. Poly burlap, you just tuck say nice words to it and it just starts fraying. So master it, even if you just use one piece of horizontal wide, stri wide stripe, master it on this and then go to the poly burlap. Welcome Sylvie. What's my favorite mesh brand? It Sherry, it all depends on what flower I'm making for what mesh I'm using. I don't think there's a mesh that I don't like. I don't think, I'm trying to think, I can't think of any. So we are going to take that and hold it at the point and the bottom here, and we're going to flip it over. Okay. Then we are going to bring this side. Y'all, I'm just trying to remember how to do it. Yes. We are going to bring this corner and fold it to the middle. So this corner here to that middle, you can see the seam through. Then we're going to fold it again. Y'all, I'm just checking quick. Yes. <laughs> it's been some time. So yes, then we're going to take the other corner. It doesn't matter if you go left or right first. We're going to take this point, bring it to the middle. You do want to make sure that it's higher up. Then this bottom here, higher up to this bottom, and fold again so we have this square diamond shape. We are then going to fold that in half, and then we're going to flip it over and fold it in half again. And there is our deco petal. Howdy, Debbie. Sorry for not having a clear answer, Sherry, but that's just the truth of how I feel with, with mesh. It all depends on the flower. Like this. Where are we here? This one here. We have horizontal wide stripe, which we're using tonight. And then there's just wide foil mesh. It gives the shine. It's perfect for that petal. Poly burlap makes good petals. 
Y'all, even value mesh is good at times. It all depends what flower you're making. So if you're following tutorials, just either ask them or hopefully they'll explain in their tutorial what meshes are best for the flower they're making. So now towards you, we are going to take the furthest corners away from you. So y'all, this is upside down for me. Hopefully if you're viewing, it is right side for you. We are going to bring these down so they line right beside each other. Again, there's a little chunk at the bottom. That's because this is a 10.25 inch wide. It's fine though. It doesn't matter. Welcome, Melanie. We are going to hold that top point and the bottom where they meet. Just hold it taut and flip over. Oh, there's a feather from somewhere. <laughs> you never know what's going to show up in a craft space. And I just turned that upside down. Okay, so this is your belly here. You're watching. This is how it'll be on your table that you're looking at. You can take the left side or right side. doesn't matter which side you start with. You want to take that corner and fold it right to the middle. You want to make sure it's above the bottom of the mesh. Okay, and then fold that again. If you have difficulties, if your hands are smaller, if your hands just don't have the movement, you can always take clips and just clip that for the time being so it stays. Now we don't have to hold it, it's there. You can use clothespins, any clips you have that are handy. Again, the other side, take that corner, bring it to the middle, fold it again. Y'all, this does not have to be perfect. Have fun with it. Just have fun. No petal, no flowers are perfect. The only people that are gonna notice if it's not perfect are other wreath makers and you're probably not making for them. So don't worry, we won't tell. <laughs> I don't even know if you could see me there. No, y'all, I'm like scrunching down, but I wasn't down far enough. <laughs> Was not down far enough. So we're there. We're just going to take this bottom piece or this top to you and fold it down and then bring these together. You can take those clips off and just attach at the bottom. Oh, if you can't laugh at yourself, who can you laugh at? If you have any questions about the pedal, I will be folding it 14 more times, y'all. I like got down like this thinking you could see me. You couldn't see me. <laughs> hey, Marlene, welcome. Thanks, I just thought there was one. Oh, no, they all f fray, Sherry. They all fray. Sorry, y'all. I have company. I asked him to be quiet. These cameras pick up all the noises. Fred? Sorry, y'all. Yelling at my husband, hopefully tell him to be quiet. Put that over. Use clips to hold yours easier. Yep. I am not going to lie, Donna. A lot of petals I do, I use clips. Y'all, it just makes life easier. It takes two seconds of time and it makes your life easier. I say do it. You do want this back part to be a little bit lower than the bottom part. Just so it's not sticking out. There we are again. Can we cut this at 20 inches, 20 inches long? So we are using the small UITC board. We are going in, go down. We are going in on row three. So all the boards have numbers or letters to describe the rows on them. 
This one is row one. There is a number one right there. You might not be able to see it on camera. Where are we? Row two, row three, row four. So we are not using row one or row two. We are going right in on row three. And there's close together holes and further apart holes. We're going to fill them all. So just start anywhere in the circle and go around. Yes, Karen, 20 inches. No problem. Patricia, hope you heard that as well. Hey, Donna. Welcome. Y'all, I hope I did not mess this technology up tonight. <laughs> If you've never used, sorry y'all, if you've never used a zip tie before, I should say this too, there's a flat side and a side with a bump. We are going to have the flat side pointed up to the ceiling. You just want to go in the board and then right back through to the next hole. And if you never used it, just try doing one up till you hear a click. Once you hear a click, try pulling them apart. Make sure it's not upside down before you load the entire board just to take it all apart. Hey, MJ. Awesome, Patricia. Good, good. Hey, Diane. Hey, Deborah. Welcome. I am Stacy from your front porch. We're here on the UITC page, Unique in the Creek. So we have 16 zip ties all the way around. I'm using six inch zip ties. I wouldn't use any shorter, but you can use longer. You just wanna make sure they fit through the board. Any questions? Hey, Teresa. Hey, Kathleen Jack. How are you? So nice to see a friendly face. Y'all just watching. Who's who's going to make one? Actually, who has made a flower with the deco petal? Who has made this? Yes, Cookie. We got a whole a whole ton of rain. I thought maybe we weren't going to get it. I think it was overcast all morning. I got some great outdoor pictures of wreaths. Y'all, I love outdoor pictures. For wreaths. I thought maybe it wouldn't come. It came. It was pouring on my drive home from the hospital, from the doctor's office. Hey, Penny. Carrie will be making one. Awesome, Carrie. I'm so excited for you. Y'all, if you do make one, be sure to, if you don't mind, share it to Unique in the Creek has a Facebook group. It's open for anyone. It's a free group. It is Unique Wreath Creators. Search that on Facebook if you're not already a member and post in there. Tag me if you don't mind. Stacy Chadwick. I'd love to see him. Where did you get your bur burner? Um, this one here. I actually bought this one at a thrift store for a dollar, <laughs> if we're being honest. Um, I did buy another one from Walmart. The one that I love, I left it at the Deco Warehouse before, so it's not down here yet. I do have it back. Um, it's actually from the dollar store years ago. It's my totters. <laughs> I did have one from Canadian Tire, y'all. It did not last. It was an expensive one. The cheap one seemed to work for me. Charlie has posted hers on Unique in the Creek. Awesome, Charlie. Did I comment on it? Did I see it? Cookie got her burner at Michael's with a coupon. Y'all, coupons are great. You have a hard time cutting mesh straight. Sherry, this one with the horizontal wide stripe, you do not, not need to worry too much about being straight. Just try and stay between, 
if you can see, and my arm's long enough. Can you see how there's thicker lines? And then there's a thin line in between those thick lines? Oh, wrong way. If you just stay between those thick lines, it doesn't matter if you cross the thin ones, stay between those thick lines. It is, there's about a centimeter in between. Just stay between there, golden. If you cross over a little bit, it's okay. This is thin plastic, it's gonna seal together. And all the cut edges are all hidden in the back. So nobody's really gonna see it. And it's less, less chance of rubbing on stuff and fraying. All of this is all factory edges. Horizontal wide stripe is the mesh, Laura. It is on a small board. Harbor Freight. I've never been there. I don't know what that is. We are on a, oh, we just said that. Small board, Laura. So again, we're taking the top two corners and bringing them together so they're not crossing over. Just holding the ends and flipping it over. Patricia got one from Amazon. Hey, Lisa. From London, Ontario, you are not too far from me. My daughter was just there today. Not for long. We're actually going, we're going to London on Saturday. Which, y'all, I thought today was Saturday all day long, so that really messed me up. We are going Saturday. So maybe I'll run into you somewhere there, Lisa. <laughs> We're going to take that corner and bring it to the middle, fold it over so it's that little triangle, and fold that triangle again. Then we're going to take that whole bottom section of the diamond and make another triangle. So it looks like this. Then we're just going to bring those two corners and fold them together. Welcome, welcome everyone. I am, y'all, whenever there's wide sections that I'm doing on the board, you can see the holes, they're close together, wider. Whenever I'm doing wide sections, I do like to use zip ties on the pedals just to give me extra security so they don't pop out. Especially when teaching these with beginner breathers. The first time I taught it to beginner breathers, we really had to be careful. We glued down the edges to, just to be safe, to make sure they wouldn't pop out. Now just for ease and so you don't have to worry about them, just, just give them a zip on the end. Make sure the zip tie head is at the top. So when we go to zip tie this in the board, it has that extra security to grab onto. Y'all, zip ties are a decent price. It's worth the two cents to to give that extra little security, that is upside down. Y'all, if you saw me live earlier, I do apologize. I had no clue what I was doing. <laughs> if y'all thought I was early, half an hour early, I'm sorry. I think it went on YouTube and, and Facebook. I'm excited to see everyone's flowers. We'll load these four in to get started. Again, here's the back of the board. Y'all, if you need to take a screenshot or pause the video, if you're watching live, you cannot pause it. <laughs> Can you see that? Okay, we see it there. Every single hole on row three is covered. Then you can just start anywhere in the circle and zip down. I did put that zip tie that was attached to the pedal an inch up from the very tip. And then when I zip it in the board, it's just going to be above that. Want to know how to do this on a large board. Diane, you could I think someone has done it. I haven't. Maybe I should try it. I know someone said they were going to try it. I think it was a year ago. 
to use 21 inch mesh. If you did it with 21 inch mesh, you could do it on a large board. Again, it would just be one row. Y'all, this petal was not was not the planned petal that I originally planned. <laughs> this was an accident. So if you don't know me, I am a creative coach for Deco Exchange's creative coaching group. And every three to four months or so, we do a workshop. We all gather together in Louisiana and we go live for a workshop. And I wanted to come up with a new petal. I folded one. I had it. It was a beautiful petal. It was before Christmas, not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before. And I had it on my desk. Y'all, then we had company over. I even folded paper. So I had it perfect. I could unfold the paper and refold it. Y'all, while I was cleaning before company came, I, got, I threw it all out. <laughs> it was not the plan. <laughs> I threw it all out. So I had a picture on my phone of the finished petal. So then it took me like an hour to try and figure out my own fold that I had already come up with. <laughs> and in the process, the deco petal was formed. <laughs> it was named after Deco Exchange. Since I work with them, I love being there. I love teaching the unique in the creek board. The board is a small Broncos freak. You can find it on uniqueinthecreek.com. If you want to use my affiliate, you can go to createwithstacy.com. Y'all, you can S-T-A-C-Y, S-T-A-C-E-Y. I'll answer to, to either. Go to either of those, createwithstacy.com, and scroll down to Unique in the Creek, and it has a discount code listed right there for you, too. Team Unique. Just click on that link, and it will bring you right to my affiliate page for Unique in the Creek. Yeah. Camille, this is the first time I've done it in yellow, I do believe. I, I've taught others that made it in yellow, but I think it's the first time. First time I've done it in yellow. Y'all, I forgot to share, share this with my page. Let's see if I can switch quick while we're, while we're here. There we are. That's me. That's me. Share out to all the places. Hey, Linda, welcome. Barbara, we cut it at 20 inches. Yeah. To do it on a large board, you need you need bigger mesh. You can try to do multi layers, but the petal is really going to get hidden. Y'all, you're already using a roll of mesh, so if you used two rolls of mesh to do like two layers, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure it could be done, but it's not going to have quite the effect that. This one does. But I challenge y'all, if you have 21 inch horizontal wide stripe, give it a go. Please share. Would that petal work with the window pane mesh? Not very well, Sherry. Or do you, like what kind of, what kind of window pane? Y'all, YouTube, if you ask a question, I might not see your comment for a minute, so I do apologize. Camille sent Unique in the Creek 100 stars. Thank you, Camille. We are using horizontal wide stripe, Diane. This is what I recommend for this petal for a first time. You can be brave and use poly burlap. I suggest horizontal wide stripe, y'all. Horizontal wide stripe kind of is velcro -y. 
like the ends really want to stick together like even there see how just the edge it really sticks together so it's great for this back you don't have to work as hard you don't have to think as hard it helps you out so if you've never made it before i suggest horizontal wide stripe y'all unique and the creek does have a lot in stock they have lots of colors kind of jealous how many colors they have <laughs> how do you get bji this is just a one-time guest appearance on unique in the creek you can find me on my page your front porch you can find that again at createwithstacy.com. Just scroll down to the bottom and click the Facebook logo. And it will show you me. I am also live on the Deco Exchange page. But here I am just one time. One time guest. Thank you all for being so kind. While I'm here, you are a great, great group on Facebook. Can you use fabric mesh or the new breeze mesh? I haven't. Y'all, yeah, we'll try quick. I don't know how thick it will be. But we'll, we'll give it a go. Y'all, if you are a Creative Coaching member, you know whenever anyone asks a question, I kind of like to test it out too, just so we know. So this is Breeze Mesh. We'll give this a try. No guarantees. It's a lot thinner, but with all the folds, it might be thick enough. It is 10 inch mesh Beverly cut at 20 inches. So it's 10 inches wide by 10 inches wide by 20 inches long. Y'all, I would, would, would burn this breeze mesh. See, it does have frays. You would reduce those frays with wood burning. So it's not, y'all can see, where's my camera you fell? Can you see? Where's the camera? You can't really see it through. I can really see through. I can see my hand through. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. I mean, if I were to do this for this flower, I would double up. So each hole have two of these and have them a little bit skinnier. So you'd need two rolls of breeze mesh if you did. Could be done. Not gonna say no, but you will use a lot more material. So while the breeze mesh, mesh is cheaper, horizontal wide stripe might be a little tiny bit more. I'd use it, so you only have to use one roll. It'll be cheaper in the long run. Try it on the board. After I chucked it into the unknown. Y'all, my garbage is full, so I didn't even attempt to throw it in the garbage. Just threw it beside the garbage. Y'all, I'm so used to the Mevo being above, like bird's eye view, so I still don't have the left and right it's perfect. I do apologize, so sorry. First time. The yellow mesh brand is horizontal wide stripe. It always has an R R E eight nine code. So this one is R E eight nine zero zero two nine. 
if you're on the UITC page website, you can search yellow horizontal wide stripe and it should pop up. Y'all check out all the colors they have. They have tons. Uh, fabric mesh. It will depend. Y'all, there's different fabric meshes out there. It will depend what fabric mesh you're using. Some of them are really soft. They have a lot of fabric, a lot of jute in them. My suggestion is cut a 20 inch piece and test it out and see how like stiff and up like does it stay in that triangle when you put it on does it have a nice look to it whatever mesh you're using if you like it try a piece if it doesn't work out unroll it and cut that piece into two 10 by 10s and use it for another project that will be your best bet to reduce the amount of annoyingness that you may have with yourself I just try it with horizontal <laughs> welcome everyone on YouTube the mesh is trying to get away I almost said thanks for joining me on this Saturday night I'm glad I thought before I spoke y'all it is March break here so my kids, I have four children. They are all home for the week. Well, they're always home. They're not going to school. <laughs> Y'all, they're, they're still young. <laughs> they're going to be home guaranteed for a while still. My youngest is 10. <laughs> She'll probably be here for another 20 years. The way life is these days. Uh-oh. Oh, we're good. Y'all, where my desk used to be before, there was a wall just past. So I'd always call it the unknown when anything would fall off the edge. Because, y'all, I do have a desk that lifts up. <laughs> like you can see, it's the bottom of the desk is just above my belly button. So really, it's not a struggle. I can even lift it higher. I can lift it up to my chin. I can easily go under, but... I guess I'm lazy. I just didn't. It was just the unknown. He didn't necessarily know it was under there. The robot vacuum didn't pick it up. Just kind of gathered. <laughs> Yours is very early. Ours starts. Oh, nice. And the next province over from me, their March break was last week. So a little bit late. Later than them. <laughs> Earlier than you. It's kind of nice it's broken up because... Like busy amusement parks and things. Imagine if everybody was out the same week trying to get into all those places. It's nice that it's kind of spread out. Kim, I'm sure they will post this on YouTube. I don't know how long it's left on Facebook. I do not know anything other than a sign for the center. Yeah. Flower center, or uh, yeah, flower center. It's just a pre made flower center. All the work's done. You just have to add uh, something to attach it to the board. You don't need to use a sign. Not seem to. This is called the deco petal. The petal itself is deco petal. The flower doesn't have a name. It's just, just a flower. And welcome, Melissa. I am just a guest here on the Unique in the Creek page. There we go. My name is Stacy. I'm from your front porch. I am a coach with Deco Exchange's Creative Coaching Group. You may have seen me on Deco Exchange. I'm there quite often. How many more petals do we need? Two, four, six. Two, four, six. Six plus six. We need four more. 
How big is the Sunflower Center? I believe that one's a 6.75. So just under 7 inches. Y'all, when we get to the center part, I can measure and see. Melissa's in the coaching group. I recognize your name. Thanks for joining us, Melissa. Thanks, BJ. How are you? I'm not sure when that white one was made. I know it was fairly recent. I made it on my page but y'all I'm not 40 yet but some days I should just tell y'all I'm all I'm 60 years old then maybe you'll think I look good for my age <laughs> y'all my aunt says that or at least she used to say it she used to say she was much older than she was so people are like oh wow you look good I'd much rather look good than people judge me and think, oh, you look older than, than your age. <laughs> so I'm 60. <laughs> so we're getting to the curlier ones. Y'all, the center roll, I would save to last because it is more curlier. And you'll want to make sure you have... Have the pedal down pat before you get to the middle. If you're just tuning in, I do have a zoomed in more detailed view with the pedal pointed towards you like you'd be folding in front of you. So you can just watch and fold right along. It does get easier. I promise. The first time wreath makers first time playing with mesh people can get it i have faith in all of you because i'm sure most of you have played with mesh before the length is 20 inches hey liz welcome my canadian friend how long have i been making wreaths what year is it? 2024. 14. Eight years, I think. I think it was 2016. I don't know. Y'all, I've been on the Unique in the Creek board, making them on Unique in the Creek board for forever. Since I think they first came out. Y'all, I got the boards back when you had to use to purchase tutorials. <laughs> there were no free tutorials on the boards. They were all purchased. It was that long ago. I know I looked up the email recently for one of the tutorials I purchased. I looked up the email for the date. I know it was May, but I can't remember what year it was. So it's been since the beginning of Unique in the Creek, pretty much. That I've been using those boards. Before that, I did do flowers on wireframes. Y'all, I'm just looking around because I do have my very first flower somewhere nearby. I pulled it out to show someone recently. I think on a live. There's so many lights shining on me. Oh, there it is. Do y'all want to see my very first flower that I ever made? It was a lot of work. <laughs> it was a wireframe. I know a lot of people always ask me if you can make these. On a wireframe, the answer is always yes. But honestly, you use more materials. You have more stress of them sliding along the rings. You have more stress of the placement. With the UITC boards, it really, if you follow a tutorial, you really just follow along. They say to put it in that row, you put it in that row. There's no questions about where it goes. Tried the value mesh, did not work. Patricia, I didn't think it would work. For this it's too too thin too too see-through this board is a small board oh all my comments didn't scroll thanks michelle i am pretty cool for 60 aren't i 
Stay, yeah, I live not far from Lori. And actually, my nieces and brother-in-law that live, I think it's about four minutes, five minutes from Lori's house. Maybe I have a heavy foot. Not far away. <laughs> they are here right now. So my sister-in-law, I don't know if she's watching, but she has the house to herself with the dog, so she's lucky. You won't go back, right? Y'all, I'll grab it quick. It's a little bit ratty. Uh-oh, how do I get to it? Y'all, I have my Mevo camera just backed up a little bit. Normally, I hang my Mevo from the ceiling. And tonight, it is on a tripod. So I do apologize if I shake you. Oh, it's a little bit squished. Somebody put a box on it. <laughs> Y'all, with time and practice, you can get better. This was not wood burned. It should have very well been wood burned. It was not wood burned. It's ratty. Y'all, this used a whole lot of mesh. And like the petals can slide along. You can see it's really sun bleached on the back. It will get better and you can do them on wire frames, but honestly, I wouldn't look phrase. It's just more work. Yeah, so that flower was before I started on unique in the creek boards. Did anybody else ever keep any of you wreath makers that aren't just beginners? Any of the ones that have been around for more than a year? Did you keep your very first wreath? I don't have my very first wreath wreath, but my very first flower wreath, I, I, I kept it. <laughs> kind of a reminder of where I was, where I started and where I am now. So I can always just look back. I usually keep it on a shelf so it doesn't get touched, so it doesn't fray as much. Uh, I put a box on it. Y'all, I moved my craft location. I would show you the other side of the room, but it's embarrassing. There's boxes and shelves and shelves and shelves and shelves. We started good. Now I just need to find the motivation to finish. Y'all, the camera never points that way, so I'm not concerned. <laughs> and it's tipped enough that when I have my phone up there for live videos, if the camera flips around, you're only going to see the ceiling. <laughs> if I'm being honest. The centers fall off of the wire, yeah. Y'all, you got to measure that plastic canvas. I think I finally got the word right, y'all. If you are in creative coaching, it took... I had to pull the label out all last night. I used some <laughs> all last night. What is that stuff called again? Plastic canvas. You have to cut that, measure it, zip tie it to the wire frame. Y'all, by the time you do all that work, the board isn't that expensive. You don't even have all the work. You can just start. So hundred percent, I'll always say you can, you can do it on a wire frame, but I wouldn't. Wouldn't spend the time. But you do you. You've come a long way, Stacy. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> and Michelle. Right? Hey, Lynn. Liz has her very first rose. Liz is a UITC. What's it called? Y'all, it left my brain. She is a designer for Unique in the Creek. I think that's what they're called. I'm sure you've all seen Liz on here. Right, Ruth? No more wire frames. You just got rid of yours, Carrie? Should have kept it. Now, that one's getting pretty ratty too, but I don't think I'll throw it away for a long time. I have one shelf. It's only about this deep and it's the perfect size. I just slide it right on that shelf. 
So nothing bashes it, nothing crashes it. But I did take it out the other day and put it down on a box and then I put another box on top, so. Some of yours were tall and some of yours were short, Liz. If you aren't folding it in half at the end, then there'll be different heights. You can always, like if you mean like some of them are higher like this, you can just go around and just put them all even. Especially with the horizontal wide stripe, y'all. Like I said, it's really Velcro-y. I'm going backwards. So you can get them to be the same height. Just lift them and lower them so they're all, they're all even. Quite often I just lift the bottom of the petal to flatten them. So they're all nice up, up and happy. Team Unique, that's what it is, right? The second Team Unique Canadian. Right, Liz? Woohoo! Congrats again. Y'all, this one's a curlier one, so I'm just using my arms to hold the curl out. Again, this is curl side up. We are taking the top two far away from your body corners bringing them down the middle. You just want this mesh to ride side by side. You do not want to overlap. You're going to take it and flip it over. You can go left, left or right, whatever you prefer. Take the corner and bring it to the middle. I always have it a little bit up from the bottom of the mesh and fold that again in half. And the same with the other side. So we have this square diamond, kind of a diamond. We're gonna take that bottom section and fold it so it's just a little bit shorter than the bottom triangle. Let's see if I can get this on my hand. So it's just a little bit shorter. And we're gonna fold those corners together You have your very first wood unique in the creek board. I have a pile of wood ones still. I don't think I have any wreaths on wood boards. Oops. I do have some wood boards still. Team unique. Hey Kathleen, welcome. I am Stacy from Your Front Porch here on the Unique in the Creek page. Thanks for joining me tonight. So again, I just like to make sure they're all level. Y'all, I do this. You don't have to do this yet because we still are going to flip it over and I'm going to mess it up. So I'm not perfecting it, but there it is. Y'all, if you put it right against the wall, you will see the board just a little bit. If anybody is getting their head right behind the door to look at that and see it, I let them see it. I'm not concerned. Like you see it from an angle, you're still not really seeing the board. You really have to be beside it in order to see the board. No one's going to care. And if they do, let them care. <laughs> Y'all, my comments were scrolling. Oh, you've been folding them different. Maybe that's why. Liz. Oh, I want the wood ones gone. I should. I should see if anybody wants them. <laughs> Y'all, the wood, they're the original wood board ones with the holes that are up and down this. This way up and down, not side to side like these holes. It's up and down. So thankful they switched that. <laughs> so I have a 20 inch pipe cleaner. I'm just going to cut, cut down about eight inches of it. If you have 
regular 12 inch pipe cleaners. You can just use that. I do like to put my hanger on before my center if it is a directional center. So I'm gonna add my hanger now. There is holes at the top, extra hanger holes. Y'all, it's a flower. At this stage, there is no up and down. It doesn't really matter where the top is. It does say like unique in the creek there. It's not wrong if it's if it's wrong. <laughs> hey Holly from Buffalo, New York. Welcome, welcome. And Sharon from Nova Scotia. Sharon, is it cold there? Currently, I have a friend in Nova Scotia. There was a whole whack of snow in her pictures. Thanks, Joanne. Y'all, I tied a knot and then I'm just twisting the ends of the pipe cleaner around. Sorry, I was reading. Reading and not showing. That way, when I pull that pipe cleaner back out, it is nice and clean. You can use a zip tie. You can use jute rope. Whatever it is, I always try and stick the guts on this side so that we just have a nice clean hoop on the back. Have you tried one with green leaves? I have not. I'm not a huge fan of leaves. Y'all, sometimes I add them. Yeah, I say y'all. <laughs> Lori, we, I grew up with American satellite. You know, like the big giant satellites in your yard? Say y'all, say A. I, I'm... I'm good for all of North America. <laughs> Y'all, there's also, <laughs> there's also some European little things I'll throw out there at times too. I like it all. From Newfoundland, welcome, Michelle. Oh, you're going on a flight to Germany, Shannon? Ooh, exciting. So I do have some options for flower centers. Y'all, I'm just seeing what you can see. I'm going to make this smaller just so my bum, my bum isn't in the video as I bend over. Oh, it still is. I'll just go a little bit further over. I don't want to give y'all a booty shot. Not that kind of show. Sorry, y'all, if you get motion sick. It's just not that kind of show tonight. Hey, Tracy. Welcome, y'all. Tracy did this in a private group class with some of her friends. She is one of the beginners, and she rocked it out of the park. It took her forever to pick which color turquoise she wanted, but she knocked it out of the park. <laughs> oh, hey, Carolina. Welcome, welcome, neighbor. Y'all, I call her my neighbor. She's hours away, but... Canadians, it's neighbor. Americans are a neighbor too. So this one is, I believe it's a six and 6.25. I might have said 6.75 earlier. So there's lots of different options. Oh, I do like that. This one is a brown with orange. I did not check what is available on Unique in the Creek page. Search flower centers. I think that's your best bet and things will come up. The code for this one is FJ517934. You, you might be able to look it up. Lori, can you look up SKUs? Does that work on, on your website? Can you look up the SKU? Otherwise I won't say any more SKUs. <laughs> so there's that option is the brown and orange flower center. Not trying to pick on you, Tracy. Just, just a little. <laughs> it is a cool color. We have a ton of pre-made. Can you search? My trip was great, Tracy. Excellent. Y'all, I went to Cuba. I don't even know how many weeks ago. I, I had it worked out perfect. I had a trip, I was gone for a week, then I was home for a week and I worked, 
And then I was gone for a workshop in New Orleans for a week. Then I was home for a week and worked. And now this week is March break. So however many weeks ago that was, went to Cuba. <laughs> it was beautiful. It was warm. Y'all, I, the stork dropped me in the wrong location. I am not meant for snow. I am meant for heat. Full blast heat at all times. Hey, Linda from Pembroke. I spent many years in Pembroke. Well, right beside on the base. Thanks. So there's that option. I do like that one a lot. Y'all, I always put them back in my bags, otherwise I lose them. Used a six inch metal round on yours. So here is, this one is FJ5175. This one is also 6.25 inches, so six and one quarter inch. If you followed along and put the zip tie at that spot and then put it in after y'all, if you have a lot of blank space, your pedal just might not be in far enough. You can always pull it in a little bit further. Y'all look at that depth. What you see from the side. I love this pedal. I'm biased, but I still love it. <laughs> yes, they can look up skew. Perfect. I do have some metal signs too. To be honest, I've never used, I don't think I've used a metal sign on this. Y'all, I have a ring light on. Which way do we go? Cute little hummingbird. Oh. Which angle do we put there? Oh, I think I like that. See how it looks. I think that's a winner, winner chicken dinner. Y'all, I did design that, that flower center. I got a little addicted to designing signs now. <laughs> just a little. Whenever I have a free moment and I just want to sit, but I still want to work while I'm sitting, I make signs. I think that might be the winner. Y'all, if you've seen me on my page, I have attached these. This is going to be quite similar. Yes, good. I do have super glue. You can use super glue. You can use um, what's this stuff called? E6000 as well. If you're using E6000, do let it dry a good day, two days before you attach. That does have a long curing time. Do not mix E6000 with super glue. You can use hot glue with either of the two, but the hot glue is not a long-term secure, y'all. Hot glue does not stick to metal long-term. It will pop off. It will be, you can put a whole big blob of hot glue on metal and it will peel right off. Thank you everyone on YouTube. You're all too kind. The little signs are six inch. What sign, what size is that flower center? The flower centers I showed are six, 6.25 inches. So six and a quarter. I. Y'all, you probably can't see that. Just a little dab goes a long way. You do not want too much super glue because it will not dry. It will take longer to dry. I'm using Gorilla Super Glue. Just use a well, a well-made dap or Gorilla. I would highly suggest. My glue gun is not on. Y'all, I'm just holding it for a second while it cures. This I would leave for a little bit too. And typically I would put a bead of hot glue around three of the edges. My hot glue gun is not on and it takes, takes forever. Thank you. 
A little watercolor hummingbird. Can an eight inch metal sign work? I haven't tried. I know there's an eight inch. Will this bounce? I think that will hold. One second. Now, I don't carry too many eight inch. And to be honest, there's a box in front of my sign shelf. So I can't really get to it. So we'll steal this eight inch. This is St. Patrick one. St. Patrick's Day one. Come out, come out. Awesome, Sarah. I hope you give it a try. Again, my affiliate is, you can go to createwithstacy.com, scroll down to Unique in the Creek, and it does have a discount code listed there, Team Unique. You can click on that. I do get a little throwback bonus, so it's very much appreciated. If you don't want that, you can always go to just uniqueinthecreek.com. There's no way I'm getting it down all the way. But it does give me an idea. Y'all, some of you asked about doing it on a large board. You'd use more petals, but you could 100% do this on a large board, not on the third row. You'd have to go farther out. You'd have to play. I haven't done it. I just realized now, but you could probably use a 10 inch or 12 inch Pardon me, metal sign. And do it, y'all. This is an eight inch. It does not have the depth. There is, I don't know if you can see there. There is a huge gap behind. I would put something to support that a little bit. Otherwise, it could tilt easily. I wouldn't put an eight inch with this one. But whoever asked that, y'all, that's why I always like to scroll a moment and look when someone asks a question because sometimes it scrolls into something better. Y'all, you might be able to do the large board with, with a bigger sign. Awesome, BJ. Thanks for joining. It does look good. I would use, y'all, if you want it higher up, use something like a craft foam. Oh, I got a big one here. Uh, ooh, timber. Floral foam. I just bought this at Hobby Lobby. It was a giant sheet. Now it's just a small one. Something like that. Cut up a, a square of it and put it in the middle underneath and your sign can be higher up. I really like these, these veins here. So I like the sign down. Did I design the hummingbird in Canva? I did not. I did put the picture that I designed into Canva though. I'm just gonna use a long pipe cleaner. Round foam discs from Dollar Tree. That would lift up a little bit. Those foam discs are pretty thin. Why would you go through the hole? I'm just looking if I have any. You could try. It will lift it up just a tiny bit. Yeah, I need that hot glue. I need that hot glue while it dries. Y'all, I apologize. We're going to be here for a minute. <laughs> The super glue is not 100% dry. It does not have air touching it, so it does take longer to dry. If you have some with the sticky pads, the sticky pads will hold it until the super glue dries. Depending on your climate, though, that sticky pad can peel off of your cable mount. Have a great evening, Tracy. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Barbara Cox. Thank you for joining us. 
me here on the Unique in the Creek page. Awesome, Sue. Do, 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 do. Y'all, this glue gun is not good. Do not buy it. I have a really good glue gun. Funny story. Since we're here, we'll talk. Um, can we see me? Yeah. <laughs> um, my glue gun, it was in my last design space. The cord was hanging. I always make sure that the cord is visible so I know it's unplugged. I used to plug it into a... I don't want to say it out loud because some of your machines will go off. But that little girl in the box, her name starts with an A, A, L, E, X, A. That little girl, I used to have it an electrical plug of that that I could just tell her to turn the plug off and all was good. And then I didn't plug her in that one time and I haven't plugged her, plugged the glue gun back in, in her since. That does not sound good. I do apologize. Um, so it was just hanging. Anyways, I put my glue gun on the edge. The cord unplugged was just hanging down. I'll use a different one, for example. It was just on the ground. Just on the ground. Well, I came along in my shoes and I stepped on that. Well, it was on the side like this. Broke my one little tongue off, so. I am a little bit picky with my glue guns, so I haven't gotten a new one since. My husband, he's good, he's handy. He is putting a new plug on it, but y'all, he's a busy man. He hasn't done it yet. <laughs> it was just on the sofa table upstairs. I don't know if I sent it outside to his workspace to fix it, but yeah. Awesome, Diane. I'm excited. On the large board, where would you start? Evelyn, I will have to play with that. Um... I'll try and play with it this week. If you go to my page, your front porch, if I do it, I'll do it on there and I'll share with y'all. Thanks, Annette. Two. Oh, good. We're hot. So I'm just going to do three, three sides. So it still has an opening. It does have openings on the back since this doesn't have sticky pads. That's not 100% hot. Thanks, Tina Kelly. You're a glue gun snob too? Yes. You have to be. If you depend on your glue gun and use it a lot, you kind of have to be a snob about it. Hopefully it's just this one break, so I just, I don't want to say bug, but bug my husband more to fix it sooner. <laughs> so this one does have holes underneath, so that super glue does have space to, to dry, but I am just going to only glue three sides. Give it a little spin. You don't have a small board? Evelyn, you can go to uniqueinthecreek.com or to my affiliate affiliate page for unique in the creek just go to create with stacy.com sorry y'all the link is really long and i don't know what it is i know i'm affiliate number 15 but i don't know what it is but i do have it on my links page you can just go to create with stacy.com s-t-a-c-y s-t-a-c-e-y either one works go there scroll down to unique in the creek it has the discount code listed there too you just click on that and it'll send you right to my affiliate link you can also go to yourfrontporchdesigns.com and that will also send you. So again, this is why I always like to put that hanger on first before my center. I do like to give it like a little loop on my finger since we're using a directional center. So I know where the top is while I'm looking at it. Y'all, you can't see this. Not that I'm not allowing you to see it. I just have to see for myself. Just want to make sure it's the way what I like. So there we are there. I'm just going to turn it over and tighten it. Why is that not so loose? 
get started on row three. I'm just twisting this pipe cleaner around. Y'all, this was a 20, 20 inch pipe cleaner. It is long. You can use a 10 inch or 12, 12 inch, I think is standard. Just for teaching purposes and ease, I went with the 20. <laughs> so our back is nice and clean. I still have to eat dinner. No, I didn't get a chance to eat. Hopefully everyone has eaten, unless you're in a complete different time zone that it's either super early or super late and you think I'm crazy. Y'all, I don't even know what time it is. It is 9.30 here, I think. I don't know if my, if my laptop automatically changed. <laughs> so I could be crazy. So we evened out the petals. Y'all, it's hard to kind of see without... Don't mind my mess in the background. Just want to turn it a little bit more as I see it hanging there. There we go. If you do have any questions, now I don't know how long this is going to be on Facebook. I will check the comments in the morning. If you have any questions, I think it just goes to YouTube world and I don't know what happens there. I'm sure if there are any questions that you have, someone from the Unique in the Creek group will respond to you. If it's something they can't answer, I'm sure they'll reach out to me. Thank you everyone in YouTube and Facebook. Thanks, Annette. I love watercolors. I love hummingbirds. So just made that. You can't even see in the picture. Y'all, I don't know which way's up, which way's down tonight. I am going to eat meatball subs. That's what I'm having. <laughs> Thanks, Don. Good night from Montreal. Vanessa, I hope you are warm there. Y'all, thank you so much for joining me. My bra strap fell. I do apologize. Um, thank you so much for joining me here on the Unique in the Creek page. It was a blessing to be a guest here tonight with y'all. You have a bunch of wonderful coaches on the Team Unique. And I have no clue how to end this. <laughs> I think I just end my Mevo. Y'all, I'll check if we if we end or not. Don't Don't mind. Don't mind all my mess. You know, it's a work in progress. It's a craft space. I think if you are a clean crafter, I don't know. I think most crafters are messy. I hope you all are with me on that. <laughs> That's what I'm going with. Crafting is messy. You get part way and you just move it to the side. If you put everything away, you can't just get right back into it. You need everything out. That's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> Y'all, thanks again. Have a great night. Bye-bye.